On today's episode of Sled Tech, we got the Snowcross Sled. It's our 2024 factory Snowcross race sled, the 600R. Racing is a huge part of our DNA here at Polaris, and it's a huge part of our development process. We go to the racetrack because we like winning and we like competing, but we also go to the racetrack because it helps us build better snowmobiles. And the 600R and the, the Snowcross sled platform has been a massive development foundation for a lot of what you see in Matrix trail sleds today. Uh, and we'll kind of go through a lot of different pieces today on uh, some innovations that have come from the sled and then some uh, new things on the snowmobile that we're going to put onto the racetrack this winter and keep developing. Starting at the front here of the 600R, we've got the Race IFS. And we call it the Race IFS because it came from this snowmobile. This suspension geometry and the A-arm spacing uh, is what we run on all of our Matrix Indian switchback snowmobiles today. And it started on this Snowcross sled. Um, we still run the race IFS today. The Snowcross sled has really heavy duty arms and then taller heavy duty spindles. That's really due to the super specific needs of a Snowcross track. You think about landing over doubles and triples on a Snowcross course where you got big holes that, you know, bomb holes that have been uh, worn out. And so the snowmobile needs a ton of ground clearance and a ton of strength in the front end because our racers are pushing the sled so hard. Other than the strength and durability upgrades for Snowcross, it's the geometry that, that our customers and riders know really well on our Matrix snowmobiles. And it started on this sled. Going up to the shocks, of course, Walker Evans Velocity shocks, like we put on all of our high performance models. Uh, these come with a ton of adjustability on the Snowcross sled, so high low speed compression, rebound control, uh, and a really Snowcross specific calibration, right? Kind of like we talked about with the the suspension durability. Uh, the loads that we see on the Snowcross sled are very high. Snowcross tracks are really, really, really big uh, and getting bigger every year. Uh, so making sure that our racers have a race ready suspension calibration and then enough adjustment to get the right calibration and set up from week to week. Next up on the 600R, we're gonna talk about the, the body work, but really we're gonna talk about handling. When people think about handling or you know, cornering performance, the natural inclination is to think suspension, suspension geometry, shocks, things like that. On a snowmobile, the rider has a massive impact on how the vehicle handles. And it's because of how far they can move. You think about a snowmobile versus something like a dirt bike or even an ATV where you're more stuck in one spot. On a snowmobile, you'll move all the way forward, back, side to side, you got all kinds of room. And when a rider rides a snowmobile like this, they're like 35% of the weight of the whole vehicle. So we talk about handling and how to put more weight or weight bias or control, being able to take that 35% of the total vehicle mass and move it around in different spots is hugely impactful. So for 2017, we redid the whole body work on the 600R and that's what you see here. The goal was handling but it was pursuing handling by putting the rider in a much better spot. Um, we made some suspension adjustments and of course, you know, always continuing to evolve suspension, but the goal was really put the rider in a better spot on the vehicle so they can manipulate the vehicle better and then get around corners better. What we found was a vehicle that handled way better and it's really due to, due to the shape of the bodywork. So you look at how narrow this panel is right here and how it's completely designed to be able to put that knee all the way down here, literally almost to the shock, and get in the right position. It's easy to move there, and so it allows the rider to be smooth and then confidently move into that spot when they need to. The other piece is there's not stages, if you will. Sometimes in, in snowmobile body work, there's kind of a comfortable spot here, and you get around the hump and there's another comfortable spot. The goal with the Snowcross body work when we redid it was to make it a completely smooth transition. So wherever the rider wants to go, it's comfortable all the way. Like I said, we found a vehicle that handled way better and the ergonomic changes from this, so where the rider sits, how they sit on the vehicle and how they interact the front of the vehicle is exactly what went into Matrix. When we started the design program for Matrix and started with the clay model, one of these was sitting in the clay studio. We said, we've got really good ergonomics with the Snowcross sled, how do we take that into Matrix? And that really is what delivered the matrix ergonomics, rider-centric comfort and control that we see on Indian switchback matrix sleds today was born right off the racetrack. So in the back of the 600R here, we have what we call the RX2 rear suspension. So it's 136 inch coupled rear suspension. 
Um, 136 inch length is a really nice balance point between traction uh, and more compliance, as well as still some really good handling characteristics, especially in the corner when you really want to rip the saddle around. The RX2 was really the predecessor to the Pro CC. So we've talked about the Pro CC rear suspension in our Indy uh, models and, and Matrix, and then in Axis uh, at the end as well. Uh, and it was a the Pro CC was a return to a traditional rear suspension. So move away from the Pro XC external rear suspension more towards a, a conventional under tunnel. And it was really started with the RX2 and the Snowcross sled. So a lot of the geometry and the way the suspension works, you'll see the, the torsion spring there mounted in front of the um, rear or front torque arm rear mount, which is on the cross country sled for this year. A lot of the architecture was started with, uh, with the RX2. And like we've talked about, racing's a perfect way to test that, right? We get really uh, easy feedback after every single race. We got the best riders in the world putting it through crazy terrain and it allows us to iterate really quickly uh, while making sure it's got acceptable and even better performance and durability than what was before it. And we can use race results to verify that. A couple cool trick pieces on the, the RX2. So big Walker Evans velocity shocks in the back as well. Uh, big two inch shocks with a ton of adjustability. Um, and then our Dragon hole shot system. So uh, just like a, a Supercross bike, when they get up to the starting line, you see them push the forks down and kind of load the front of the bike down. Uh, when Snowcross racers get to the starting line, uh, their pit guy pushes the rear suspension down and it kind of locks in place at a collapsed position. What that does is when they hit the hole shot, the suspension is already loaded. So the vehicle's already kind of loaded that rear suspension, it's digging in and it's gonna get traction faster when the throttle is applied and power is put back. If the suspension's way up at kind of fuller ride height, they hit the throttle, it's gotta compress all the way down and then provide traction and transfer. So delivering better hole shots and, and winning that race to the first corner with the Dragon system. Under the hood of the 600R is our 600 race motor. And like we talked about with the whole sled, we use the Snowcross sled to develop new technology that we can bring into our production snowmobiles. So this engine was, was done in model year 21, uh, new. And right before that, right, Snowcross had been transitioning away from the mods in the pro class to a stock engine. And we took the opportunity to make some massive updates to the race engine, make it perform better, make it make more power on the track, better for our racers, but then use as a development tool as we look towards the, the next generation of engines on the production sleds. So uh, when this engine came in, it makes a lot more power in the mid range, it's 18 more horsepower, uh, really all throughout the power band. It's fuel injected. Um, a lot of really big benefits for our racers on the track, getting out of the hole, getting the hole shots and, and, and carrying them through to the finish line. One of the really cool pieces about the 600 race motor is it's throttle body injected. So our typical Liberty and then Patriot engines from Polaris are SDI or semi-direct injection where the fuel's delivered right through the transfer ports. With the 600 race motor, it comes through the throttle bodies. And we needed to develop throttle body injection for Patriot Boost. So we started with the Snowcross sled. It came out in Mod Air 21. We developed and, and worked through the throttle body injection system that we have on this sled. Tuned in the response and how quick and accelerating and, and powerful the engine is with that type of injection system. And then brought that nearly right over to Patriot Boost. And that served as our auxiliary fuel injection system on Patriot Boost along with the SDI injectors on the 850. So, Really, again, using the Snowcross sled, the unique demands and the power demands that Snowcross has to learn and develop through these technologies, bring them into our production sleds like Patriot Boost and get them right out to our riders. So like we said, we use the Snowcross sled to develop new technology to bring into our production sleds and test new ideas, but there's still some kind of specific racing stuff on these sleds to make them work really, really well on the Snowcross track. All of our 600Rs come with big CNA Pro skis, aluminum throttle block, a little bit different kill switch, a huge haze brake system for the huge braking loads that they see on the Snowcross track. And then all of these sleds run on Sunoco surge fuel, so the race fuel that, that's specified by ISOC. So up here at the controls, we've got a very unique kind of set of handlebars and controls for the Snowcross sled. Aluminum throttle block, a little bit different kill switch to make sure it doesn't get accidentally bumped. A huge haze braking system. Uh, for the big loads that the Snowcross sleds see when they're using the brake to manipulate the sled in the air, get it around corners. And then here we've got the dragon button. So if you've ever watched Snowcross on TV, all of the racers get up to the starting line and they start shaking their heads like this. 
And what they're doing is they're heating the pipe up on their snowmobiles. So two-stroke engine basics, the big expansion chamber in the pipe helps draw the air out of the engine and make a bunch of power. The engine makes the most power at operating temperature. When the snowmobiles come out of the trailer and they wheel them over to the start line, they aren't hot. The engine's not at operating temperature yet, so they got to get it all hot and get the pipe hot. The Dragon system is a three-stage system that we built specifically for the snowcross sled in order to help our, our racers get the best hole shot they can. So they come up to the line, they hold the button, and they start shaking their head, and what the sled's doing is it pulls the timing back. It retards the timing a lot to help build the pipe and some heat. Then, once the pipe has really got a lot of unburned fuel in it and it's heated up, it goes into a second mode where it burns out all of that fuel so the pipe is nice and clean, the engine's not all loaded up. And then, if you listen, you hear the engines all of a sudden go to a certain RPM and just stay there. And that's when the racer looks up. That's when they're ready to go. That's when Dragon System is in its third mode and it displays on the screen that the pipe's at optimum temperature, it's cleaned itself out, and then it holds itself right at engagement at the perfect launch RPM. And all the racer has to do is wait for the green flag, let go of the button, and race to the first corner. So that's the lowdown on the 600R. Lots of cool technology, some race specific components and engines, and some other cool technology that we're pushing into production sleds. Really excited about the momentum of the team this winter. We had a great finish to last year's season. We'll see you at the races, and we'll see you next time. Uh -huh.